so here are the backyards now after Manuel has gone over them with the dozer and got all the topsoil spread out and pretty close to fine grade now we're just going to come back with the skid steers and rake it out and get stuff kind of fine-tuned with the swales and everything um, we're starting here at the end unit got Octavio here working with me doing some raking the way we like to start off is always work on your your perimeters first so first thing you want to do is kind of go around the edges pull everything in same thing over here like I did on the driveway I went up along the driveway got a straight line with the wall pulled all the dirt back leveled it around along the house and then at the end I still got to cut the swell and at the very end you kind of level the main uh, area that's flat so that's just gonna be a simple thing at the end we were here on the weekend did all the fronts up the street so all the way up the road all the fronts are done on this street here all the uh, swales are always two feet so 60 centimeters off of the wall on this side so it's four feet from this house two feet from this house. And here you can see we got a stone slinger coming in to shoot some clear stone in between the houses after they've been prepared and graded the front wall there and then shoot it in from there all the way back. Usually we put some protection over the AC but we had already protected that from here and he's not getting that far so don't need to worry about that right now. All right now you can see that I've carved out the swale and I got Octavio just finishing up raking the front and there you go nice and done all cleaned up. There it is, all raked out. Here you can see what I mean by doing the perimeters first. As you can see, I start doing the backyard first all along the chain link. I had already done the part of the chain link um, going along the side of the house that you saw. Then I do the backyard and then I do along the house. Um, either way you do it, doesn't matter. I like to do all the perimeters first. In this row of homes here in particular, there is something called a apron swale or round swale, banana swale, so many different names for it. but. Basically, it's a round swale in the middle of the backyard where the water will drain away from the house But also away from the rear of the lot all towards the middle of the lot and From that swale in the middle of the backyard It's going to drain to either side of the house in the side yard swales and out towards the road That is what you can see me here creating with the skid steer. I'm trying to carve out that swale and clean it all up. And then the very last thing I do is a nice smooth clean pass on the flatter part of the backyard past the swale. And that's my favorite thing to do. It's a nice easy part after all the hard work has been done.
So oh, there's the backyards all complete now from this process here. And you can see that we got them all down there. They're working their way down to the end. Got the gravel all done in between the houses. Front's all done. And just wrapping it all up here. So it'll be all finished up. So everybody's out watering the grass. All looks nice and green. This is how we like to see the site done. And as we travel over to the other side of the site, back where we kind of started off, we have some interesting models here where uh, we have a tight squeeze to get in here with these skid steers, to say the least. And believe it or not, this is actually considered the backyard of these houses. So essentially you have a garage in the back and the front door in the front. And in between the houses, there's a little tiny square where there's the so-called back door. And that is the backyard space for the house but hey i managed to get a kubota full-size skid steer in there and managed to do a full 360 with it all the way around so i guess there's enough space in there to get a machine in there can't complain too much then we have a section here in between the houses where we're preparing to put some gravel down some three-quarter clear stone but before we do that we always prepare the grading to make sure the swale is properly done underneath so that the water will still flow underneath the gravel that we will be installing Prepare all the slabs before fine grading in the front, and then we bring on our sod. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this one, maybe learned something new. If you did, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and as always, thanks for watching guys. Take care, we'll catch you in the next one. And remember, stay dirty.